Alrighty, guys. It is Monday the 20th of March. <laughs> we're going to be tackling the next installment of the Neo Cooper series, Chaotic Space. Unable to download the music. Darn. <laughs> That's fine by me. Let's see what this track is. We're all kind of like mixed style, so I don't even know if I could tell specifically what style it is. Okay. Okay, I see. Um, you want me to go through the reset? Okay, that's a drift. Look, I see green signs and I... Hold on, I gotta mash my brake key real quick. There we go. I need to not keep doing this. Okay, that was bad. Okay, around. I was right in the get in assuming a break. What? Okay. Oh, okay. This is an interesting track. Oops. Okay, I need to... As smooth as that is, it's clearly not making it, so... Okay, I need to maybe jump into that turn with the break intend intended. Because, like... When I get reactor boost, it's going to change how... That goes. Okay, I hit the wall, but it kind of helped, honestly. Oh, okay, I should have braked later. Uh, that's why my jump felt weak, because I missed the reactor. You can't really start the drift that far back. Oh god. Oh no. I need to stop doing that. There we go. Don't miss the reactor. need to hold break more. I missed. I guess that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. I clipped the hole. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I landed bad and just started wobbling there. Letting up just seems to be the way. 
I clip the hole again. Okay. That's extremely weird. Oh, okay. This is very weird. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm, you know, I was looking at this red dot here. And then you go up there. Oh, is there like a risky finish? Or is that the only finish? You just have a very thin window. Oops. I need I don't know why it's that easy to clip that hole because it's I would expect it to be very hard to because um the track is going from flat to banked and there's a a hole below the transition from flat to banked so I would expect it to not be crazy like that so I see that there's boosters on the left there is that somehow faster? Seems a lot harder to get that left word. One. Probably not because you have reactor boost for so long. Okay, I need to break more. I was worried about the hole. I wonder how many people in the replay are going to go right. It just feels like it's easier to line up this start if you go left first. I was worried about I was worried about that section, but I hadn't had that much speed before. Big let up, but it makes my line better. Oh my God! It's the boot. <laughs> I aimed right for the arrow, but the bumper boost suits the right just a tad bit. So I was off. I worry about being that high up. Um, on the on the out on the banked away turn, but. I don't think it's that bad because the reactor is strong enough at the speed that I'm going. I need to stop hitting that corner. Please don't. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I need to be better about that. I feel like the reactor is not going to be enough, but obviously the map maker made it that way. So I just have to hope. I just have to trust that that is fast enough. That reactor boost down is enough. Okay.
Oh my god. There's a million different ways for me to do the break on that corner there where I crashed. I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted to do. Dang it. We'll get a real clean run of this track at some point in here. Oh my god, okay. Need to break more initially, I think. Surprised they didn't hit the wall there. That's really good. I remembered I could jump to the right. Oh, the left, I mean. Yeah, that doesn't... Okay. I feel like I have to slow down there, and I was right. There's green arrows everywhere, so I don't actually know what the situation is with these turns. I can't look at a turn and go, Oh, I should probably slow down, or Oh, I may need to break there. I just have to feel... and see that there's green arrows. Which don't mean anything other than like, hey, you should go this way or you should go this way. Frame rate's better. Uh, I went too far to the left or to the right. My frame rate's better because I tabbed out and then tabbed back in, which caused the game to go actually full screen and not borderless window. And for some reason, when this game is in a full screen, I get better frame rate. It's immediately, it is immediately noticeable. Gosh, I don't know how to speak right now. I feel like I have much more control over the car. Do I make this? I knew that was a break, but I didn't have the capability to uh, do it there. I don't think that's ever going to be an improvement, unfortunately. It might be, actually, but it's not worth it. Just get a reset. Okay, I don't think sliding there is good. I think if you can do that outside turn without sliding, you're better off. Breaking, could have done this turn faster. Okay, NASCARing that might be the better solution. Oh, and then that jump's not easy. But it is if you aim right, I guess. Now, I don't know if there's a risky. Let me just make sure. Go here, go up, and over. The risky is up. 
Because you go around and there's a finish here. Unless you're a god. No, there's no way. Like, unless you're a god and you somehow flip into that, but you'd have to go around. And that probably makes it worse. That was bad. Bad transition. Almost clipped the hole. Aim a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say aim a little bit more to the right than I want. Because it the booster boots boots me a little bit to the... Oh, no, sorry, to the left. Gosh, I always do that. I wanted to aim a little bit more to the left than normal because it boots me right. But then I aimed way too far to the left. And then I don't hit the wall. And then I literally don't drift enough. into the wall just like before literally you could watch you can see that i've mimicked my previous self oh i'm glad i hit that i was very far to the right of it Didn't clip the hole. I am going way too far to the right. That's a really hard jump to aim. Because where I am aiming is not... Is, is like way past the turn. There's a strong likelihood that exactly what happened there happens. I don't make that. I need to make that. Oops, I tabbed out. Um, let's not. Maybe slow down too much. And I jumped too far to the right. It's extremely difficult to judge. like to get like one good run where I don't crash in any capacity. Apparently this track is uh, taking quite a lot, a lot for me.
Okay. Judge this. Okay, I'm going to try and... Okay. I need to just aim further to the right. Now, can I do that in, actual, in an actual run? Let's see. Corner. That's annoying. Oh, I took a screenshot. Let's go. too much and but it's fine because I'm too far to the right it's so difficult to judge that jump and I'm gonna hit the corner like, that turn is difficult to judge, but it's, like, it's just, like, standard turn judgment. The problem I have with that bumper jump is that it's really hard to line up because the arrow doesn't help. Because it matters, it entirely matters about your approach, and then how you hit the bumper, and then how much speed you have. Like, there's a million factors going into that specific jump make it extremely hard to know like I'm coming in this this way how should I aim it like this I'll aim it here I get that don't get it smooth but I at least get it and I don't get that because I was too f I need to over break for that because aiming it I need to aim very diagonally to the right If I don't, I won't make it, so preserving speed in that previous corner doesn't matter if I literally don't make the jump. Please. Oh my god, are you kidding? This will be an improvement just because I still wasn't faster than that crash. I don't make it still. Alright, we're, we're using this. But I'm not happy about it. Okay. Gold medal. Still not good. Yeah. It could be so much better without a crash and actually making that, like, risky route. Okay, you want to land without sliding, otherwise exactly what happens there will happen. Okay, the approach is different. Aim there. 
If I had a little bit more speed, I'd make it over that second chicane's, I'll say middle section. And then I'd like actually make that jump pretty smooth, but I don't know how I would have more speed there. There's like a maximum speed limit to that turn that I just took to get between to get between all the walls. I'm like, sure, I'm not doing it perfect, but I don't think I'm doing it badly. Okay, that turn will just forever be extremely scary. And then you aim right. Yeah, you, you can even go a little bit slower than normal and you'll you'll just be better off because you aimed right. I don't hit the outside of the finish. I almost did, but I actually made it in first. There we go. There's a good time. It only took 26 minutes. It took 90% of the video. That's too far. I would really like to get that jump where I don't hit in the middle of the turn. Like a bounce and then land. I would really like to get it more smoothly. Even even if it's like I over jump it, but, but don't hit the middle section. Like that, that would be fine. That would be more fine to me than bouncing in the middle and then landing. That's good. Okay. Even the bounce was better than that. I had a better landing, I feel, but I didn't know how to approach the turn after now. It's like I'll just drift it and then I held the brake for way too long. See that? I, I did bounce in the middle, but I touched ever so lightly enough to steer myself. That was actually like the best outcome because I got to direct my car. It's like I had the ability to move in the air for a tiny moment of time and just boop, and I turned just a little to the side. It was enough. In all honesty, that is probably the perfect outcome. It's actually, well, it's probably not the perfect outcome, but for that specific jump, because I was aiming very far, I, I didn't have the, the most perfect angle, I'll say. Oh, I just realized I disabled my HUD. You won't know how good or bad I'm doing in speed. I just have to watch and observe. You can observe that I kind of did it again and it worked really well. Okay. 
I don't know how well I'm doing. I don't know how well I did. My HUD's off. Point three. Huge, because that's right at the end of the video. All right, well. I will see you all tomorrow, where we will attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all later.